Hi everybody out in YouTube, it's Susan back with another review video and this one is about keeping up with the Kardashians. Are you keeping up? Because I'm keeping up. Barely, but I'm keeping up. My favorite personally is Chloe. I'm very invested in her. She's always been my number one favorite. Kim is getting on my nerves. Courtney, this the beginning of the season was like the biggest bitch. I don't know what her problem is, but whatever. I'm invested in Chloe. She's like the most real, down to earth out of all of them. So she's pretty much the only reason why I'm still watching. I'm invested in her in her in her storyline. It's not a storyline, it's real life, but whatever. Anyway, the start of this episode is about Kim, of course. And she is, this is like the aftermath of Chloe having the baby and the whole cheating scandal with Tristan and everything. I'm still not fully clear on exactly what he did. I think he just made out with a girl or two, but still, I mean, that's still cheating. Anyway, Chloe yet again has a broken heart. And then the very next day she went to labor, had baby true, and then... The follow-up of this was Tristan was going to have a meeting with all of the sisters, including Chris. And because if you mess with one, you mess with all of them. So you got to like have a family sit down. And apparently, I think that went well, but Kim is still like, she's still like pushing buttons and like going after him. She won't leave it alone. She's calling Chloe and saying all these things. And it's like, you know, just let it lie a little bit, Kim. Stop digging into it so much. Like, don't you have three kids of your own? Like, go take care of them or something. Like, doesn't Kanye need an opinion on an outfit? Or Like, that's what you do. Like, go bother someone else. Stop inserting yourself where you don't necessarily belong. She was really irritating me with doing this because she was just saying over and over. And she's like obsessed with the fact that he blocked her on Instagram. Well, I would have blocked her too, okay? She's probably blowing up his phone and that's irritating. It's not your relationship, it's Chloe's relationship. You need to stay out of it and move on. So besides invading Chloe's romantic life, her other storyline this episode was the continuation of like her 20 year reunion. Oh my God. This storyline to me is so boring. If she talks about her 20 year reunion, one more, first of all, she almost myth missed the, missed the birth of her niece because she would have rather have gone to her 20 year reunion. Are you serious? Like everyone knows how difficult it was for Chloe to get pregnant. First of all, and she's finally going to give birth and you're caught in between going to a reunion and your sister's birth? Are you kidding? Like, there's no question of where I would have been. I would have been with my sister while she was having her baby, her lifelong dream. But no, this is Kim Kardashian. Her priorities are, of course, a little out of whack. And she, you know, wanted to be at her 20 year reunion. So in the last episode, it was the reunion. I fast forward through that garbage. I did not care. It was boring. It was like the Kim Kardashian show. Okay, you're already all over the news, all over the internet, all over YouTube, all over any kind of social media you dominate. Why the hell do you need to go to your reunion? You want to go to your reunion because you want to like be the presence in the room. That's it. That's the only reason you want to go. Let's not kid ourselves, Kim K. Okay. I know what you want to be. You want to be like, oh, look at me. Whatever. Lame. That's lame. Anyway, so this was like a continuation. So... Kim got tickets to see Cher in Vegas. That's pretty awesome. Because Cher is God. All right. Cher is God. Let's let's just say it right now. So I was actually jealous of that fact that Kim K got to go see Cher. She like dressed up like Cher, recreated a classic iconic outfit that she had going on back in the day. 
and she brought like I'd say five or six of like her besties from high school and this was like a continuation of the reunion oh god and so they went to the concert saw Cher got to meet Cher backstage Cher's just awesome that was like the best moment of the entire episode was just seeing Cher <laughs> because she's so real and down to earth and she like hugged all the girls. So that was cool. And then of course they all hopped on the private jet and flew back home in like the same night. Must be nice having money. Must be nice. Speaking of having money, Kim K revealed that when she got, cause she's been married three times now, three Kanye West, you are number three. So when she got married the first time, she was on ecstasy. And when she did her infamous sex tape that Kris Jenner <laughs> spun into a multi-billion dollar industry, she was also on ecstasy. Are we surprised? Mm, not really. I mean, I'm sure she was on some kind of drug to, you know, do a sex tape and get married at 18 years old. But whatever, apparently that's like breaking news in the Kardashian world. So at least now we know that Kim K was on drugs at some point in her life and she partied. That was revealed. I don't know if that's shocking information or whatever for anybody. It wasn't for me, but now we know. In other news, Kourtney Kardashian was actually went to Washington and <laughs> she met with these people that are really passionate about um, knowing the dangerous products, the dangerous additions that are in our household products that need to, like a regulation, they want to put it before Congress to make sure that all of our products that are in our households are safe, all the ingredients are safe, and Courtney Cardet, they approached Courtney to be the spokesperson for this on Capitol Hill in Washington to make it known so they can put it on the docket to become a bill or something. She's like the spokesperson for good products. I'll just say that it's a little complicated to understand, but she had to speak in front of like 50, 60 people. I thought she's never going to be able to do this. She always, you know, is like, Oh, I'm too busy. Oh, Oh, I'll do it. And then she backs out the last minute. I didn't think she was going to be able to do it. She actually did it. She was intellectual in what she was talking about. And she sounded very knowledgeable, actually. So that was good. So kudos to Courtney. She's getting into something where she's passionate about. And that's kind of like what's been lacking with her a little bit. And she's always getting criticized because she never knows what she wants to do and so now i think she's kind of found her passion of what she wants to do so kudos for courtney to being involved in that so you did a good deed i'll give you a thumbs up and then all the rest of the video was pretty much um chloe coming over with baby true and being with the family so that was pretty much the entire episode I'll give it a B minus <laughs> B minus Scott was in there. Scott was actually giving advice to Kim, which I found very ironic because who in the hell ever thought that Scott would be playing the therapist in this family? I sure didn't. So that is my wrap up of keeping up with the Kardashians and please subscribe, hit the red subscribe at the bottom and let me know what you think. Have a good night guys.